it's customary to thank. Uh, do you hear me? Just checking. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, usually, it's customary to thank uh, for participation in such kind of forums, but I think I have to give special thanks for the organizers, given the pressure they were under not to include me. Uh, let me start by saying that. And second of all, speaking um, in this uh, refugee week is very personal to me because I've been uh, exiled for nine years. And at the same time, after coming back, hoping that my country will be better, uh, seeing nine mil over three million people displaced, seeing war coming back to the northern Ethiopia, which is uh, Tigray and Eritrea area where uh, my father died as a soldier of Ethiopian government when I was eight years old. Seeing the same thing happening if, probably in its worst form is very personal and um, depressingly uh, saddening, to be honest. So I speak from that point of view. When I speak uh, from that point of view, I want to speak, how did we get here? And how do we get out of here? Because unless we come, at, come to the account of finding the true account on how we got here, just like we are here like the, the 1980s, 10 years down the road, or even a few years down the road, we might be seeing even a worse situation. And uh, the common narrative that uh, is repeatedly being seen in the Western media, Western academics, uh, even on this uh, event note that was distributed for everyone, uh, has a specific kind of accounting the current situation in Tigray and in Ethiopia in general. Uh, it says the current situation is entirely man-made. The direct outcome of our belligerence in the war, specifically the Ethiopian Federal Forces, the Eritrean National Army, and the militia from the neighboring Amhara region uh, campaign for starvation is uh, the, the cause, the event note says. I'm not denying the existence of this crime. No one in his or her uh, mind will deny that starvation or any kind of crime is being committed in such kind of war. But what I'm very concerned and what is actually concerning many Ethiopians is that there is no mention of even TPLF. Even from our presenters, only Sadala mentioned TPLF. Why? Because TPLF have been in force, in power, in that region and in Ethiopia entirely for over 35 years. TPLF was responsible for the politics, economy, military, security, apparatus and operation of Ethiopia. TPLF was responsible for the current ethnic federalism system by designing it. TPLF was responsible as a partner with uh, EPLF for the creation of Eritrean state. And now, if we see the narrative, it seems like uh, the Amhara forces, the Ethiopian forces, the Eritrean forces just descended on Tigray and started uh, violence and crime just for the fun of it. No, that's not how it happened. That's not what's going on. We have to see the system, the institutions, the interests, uh, the reasons that got us here so that we can reform or change and to create a better solution, a better region, both for Ethiopia and Eritrea and Tigray. Otherwise, this kind of activist saying that only the crime is being committed against uh, Tigrayans is not going to help anyone. So what, why mention TPLF? I, I raise three reasons uh, why discussing the role of TPLF and how to integrate the next uh, change is important because the creation of uh, and the nature of the current Eritrean state is directly linked to TPLF. TPLF was responsible part like EPLF for the liberation of Eritrea or cessation of Eritrea from Ethiopia. And by that creating a landlocked Ethiopia, primarily a neighboring Tigray state. That would be a major reason. The second reason, in 2000, when Ethiopia and Eritrea got into war, TPLF did not finish the, the war with either by uh, military means or either by coming up with a new political economy order for both countries. So it created an Eritrea that is hostile to Tigray and Ethiopia in general. It left it in a problematic condition. 
Second, it created the ethnic federalism that we're in now. This ethnic federalism gave us the Amhara region, which never was before TPLF came into power. It gave us the Amhara special forces. So how are we going to ignore TPLF's role in creating the events that are currently abusing Tigrans and Ethiopians in every part? This is the, the, the two major roles of TPLF in creating the condition that made Tigray hell today. Third, when political reform started happening, uh, currently led by Abi Ahmed, TPLF failed to adapt itself to the current situation for two reasons. First, the ethnic federalism it created does not allow for a compromised outcome. It created each ethnic state in such a pitting situation where one has to win to survive. TPLF's rule in Ethiopia has been, I have everything in economy, the military, the intelligence, but nobody has anything. And yet the two major regions, Oromia and Amhara region, have been antagonized. This is in discourse, in education, in the laws, and at the same time in the entire political economy structure. As such, when reform came, TPLF did not have a structure. It has already trapped itself and the Tigrayan people in a situation where they have to win all or lose all. This was the reason TPLF failed to adapt, even though repeated attempts were made by Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed. One of the things you can't uh, blame him is he's been sending elders, he's been sent trying to negotiate. TPLF rebuffed all opportunity to negotiate and it created it instigated this war, and it is actively part of the belligerents that are committing crime. In the 1980s, there are repeated evidences that TPLF have used food aid, starvation, to make money out of it and gain control for weapons. So how do we get out of here? There are three things we must do. First of all, the current situation is not only an Ethiopian affair, it's an Eritrean affair too. So a new political order for Ethiopia and Eritrea is necessary. Second, we need to reform the ethnic federalism we're in. Otherwise, no kind of compromise for no one will work. A comprehensive reform is required. Third, uh, simply belligerent, uh, bl blaming the Ethiopian government or uh, imposing sanctions on the Ethiopian government will not work. The, the international community must accept that TPLF is no more part of the entire Ethiopian political body. That time is gone. It's part to recognize that and come up with a viable political options from Tigrayans that will represent them better than TPLF. TPLF's option to be part of the Ethiopian uh, body politics is over, I'm sorry. Thank you for it.